home sources. Uh, start with yourself. And using ancestral charts and family group sheets, begin recording everything you know about yourself and your family. Include your date, uh, in your date and birth, place of birth, uh, your marriage place if you're married and date if applicable. Uh, your parents' dates and the places of birth, their marriage date and place, your grandparents' names, just work your way back through the generations. If they're not from the area where they live, uh, it's a little more difficult. Uh, you have to go, like if you were from another state or another town, uh, it'd be the expense of going back to that town or, or uh, trying to find the records from that area. I'm really lucky because I have, I'm the seventh generation uh, family of being here more, in more than one uh, family. So the Coshocton County uh, records are very good here. So the Coshocton County records are only good for families who originated out of Coshocton County? Uh, for the courthouse records, yes. Um, for the genealogy history room at the li local library, um, they have different states that you can look for, uh, different counties. Uh, they have different uh, information from those. Uh, we just get together and try to find what they're looking for, their stumbling block. Um, for our local history, you know, we have birth records, death records, cemetery records, uh, and a lot of that stuff is on uh, microfilm that was microfilmed from the, the uh, local courthouse. Okay, and... Um... Organization, uh, it's best to be organized uh, as possible from the start. Uh, develop your record keeping and filing system. Use a standard ancestor a numbering system. Have research notebooks and folders. Uh, your materials should be easily stored and available to refer to. Keep a supply of notepads, sharpened pencils, uh, no ink, uh, and erasers. Um, ink is a no-no at some of your libraries. Uh, well, you know, you're supposed to use pen, pencil. Um, another thing I'd like to say is uh, on photographs, we have run across so many photographs that are not identified. And when you are meeting with a family member, make sure that when they tell you who it is, uh, that you identify that picture. Uh, that person may know, know the person in the picture, but two or three generations down the road, someone may not know. Um, also, when you're doing genealogy, make sure you source everything. Uh, like, um, don't just put down a, a, a birth record. Uh, make sure you have um, something to document that, to back that up. Um, when you're listing your information, a uh, pedigree chart is quite helpful. A uh, five-generation chart goes back to the great-great-grandparents, and a nine-generation chart goes back to the six great-grandparents of an individual. It's, a, it's more or less a guideline. Um, and a family group sheet uh, is where you um, name the husband and wife and the children from that family. And, uh, and it will also name your, your grandparent or your father and mother. Uh, and then you can use those to uh, follow back through. Um, you can use that family group sheet to keep record of your sources, either in the margin or on the back. Um, be sure to label which line or box you're referring to. While you're visiting relatives, a portable tape recorder can be quite helpful, either in the mar or I'm sorry. Um, plan your questions ahead of time as much as possible. 
be specific with your questions. Uh, a lot of times when you approach older people, they have a, a span that they're very interested and then other times, you know, they, they get tired, I guess. Um, when corresponding with relatives in request of, for information, be direct so as to keep the letter short. Be precise as to information desired. Be sure to make it clear who you are writing, who you are when writing to relatives or people who may not know you by name. Always include a self-addressed stamped envelope addressed to you for return mail. Home sources that you can use for information, family Bibles. Sometimes that's the only thing that you can really um, use as a source of information. Biographies, church certificates, sometimes uh, you can't find anything in local records, but if they've been a member of the church, uh, baptized in the church, you can find that certificate there. Uh, diaries and journals, which are very interesting um, and will say about their family. A lot of, gives you a lot of information, history. Uh, legal papers such as deeds, letters, uh, memorial cards when a person dies, you know, you get the little memorial card when you go to the funeral home. Uh, school records, newspaper clippings, scrapbooks and albums, fraternal records if uh, someone belonged to the, like the veterans of foreign wars, they would have record of that. Um, Masonic lodges, occupational records uh, where the person has worked over the years. Uh, once you've learned everything from your family, uh, direct your attention to the local public library. Cushacton uh, Public Library has a history room. It's full of, full of information for the local area. Ask your librarian to help you get started. They're very helpful in the library. Have them explain where sources are located and how to operate any equipment uh, you need to use. Uh, your librarian may be able to help to refer you to an, a historical or a genealogical society. In the library, reference books, look up your family surname if listed. Remember, most names have several different spellings. Make a list of the various spellings you may find. Like you had said, uh, when the people came into the United States, uh, most of the people couldn't speak, or they could speak, but they couldn't uh, um, speak English. And the recorder would write down what he thought he heard. So anyway, um, at our Coshocton um, library, well, at the courthouse, probate court in the public library, uh, birth records are dated from 1867 to 1909. Um, from 1909 to the present, um, you can find those at the health department. Uh, if you were born in the county, it would be at the county health department. If it was in the city, it would be in the city health department. Uh, death records uh, from 1867 to 1908, those can be found at the courthouse and at the public library. Uh, from 1909 to the present, Shockton County Probate Court. Uh, the 1908 to the present, uh, Ohio Department of Health. And the burial records. Uh, county trustees have a lot of those, um, but not all. Land records, uh, you can find those at the Shockton County Recorder's Office. Marriage, divorce records, and abstracts. Um, for marriages, September the 7th, 1949 to the present, you can find those at the Ohio Health Department. Marriage license, uh, Cushacton County Probate Court and Cushacton Public Library. Divorce and civil court records at the Clerk of Courts. Uh, wills and estates, uh, you can find those at uh, 
the library or at probate court. Um, those go from 1867 to 1908. Uh, the Kashakton Genealogy Society, uh, one of their objectives is to go around all the cemeteries in, in the county. Uh, we work in each township. Uh, right now we're doing Bedford Township and trying to locate all the old and forgotten cemeteries as well as the ones that are uh, well kept. Uh, we record the, in, the inscriptions, uh, put those, we type those up and put them in uh, like a book form and then um, give several copies away like to the library, to the court, to uh, the Ohio Genealogical Society, Ohio Historical Society, and then we sell those to make money so we can make, you know, do another township. Um, we have, um, we're working on death records right now from 1867 uh, to 1909. We're about ready to publish that one. Um, uh, from 1909 to 2005, we will have those, we've already copied them, but we haven't uh, processed those yet. Um, birth records, we did that project. Uh, 1867 to 1909, we have those all done and in book form, and we sell those. Um, um, for um, websites, um, there are some free sites. FamilySearch.org is one that I use quite a bit. Um, you can find. Um, Death records, uh, the actual death records from, I believe it's 1907 to 1953. Um, I have found quite a bit of information doing that, uh, but they have to die within that time period. Uh, they have census records on Family Search. Uh, the family, Sur family Search is an organization connected to the Latter Day Saints from the Mormons out in Utah. Um, we have our state uh, genealogy society at Belleville, Ohio. Uh, their uh, website is ogs.org. Uh, you can also go on on the web online and Google in family tree charts and forms. Uh, or just put in free genealogy forms and you can print those off and you don't have to pay you know, 10 cents a copy or whatever to get those. Also on the websites, there's some other favorite websites, Cindy's List. It's the largest compilation of uh, genealogy links on the web. Roots Web is another good one, the, the web's oldest and the largest free genealogy site. Uh, GenForum is a huge message board site. You can put uh, a query on that and hopefully someone out in space, cyberspace will uh, connect with you. Uh, there's also another Kushatan site, uh, the US Gen, Gen Web site, covers Kushatan County. 